Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 18 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage campaign. Uh, where we left off last time, we are moving into uh, the more East Africa region, uh, over towards Carthage, although we are going to avoid them. We want to make sure we don't uh, actually go to war with Carthage, uh, but we're going... I'm oh, sorry, with uh, Egypt. Sorry. Um, but we are going after this Numidian town to try to just kind of link up with our uh, Crete colony a little bit closer. Uh, we had a huge, long siege of Ariminum that, as uh, one of you so rightfully pointed out in the comments of the previous video, um, yeah, Alex, Aurelian, I definitely didn't need to focus as much on those guys on the walls. I got a bit tunnel visioned on that one uh, and just, uh, you know, just went for them uh, because I'm used to doing that and it wasn't the right call. And then over here in Narva Martius, we didn't expand at all, but we have quite a bit of forces ourselves and quite a bit of Britain forces, so there'll be some, there'll be some fights coming up there. Uh, first and foremost, we do have a uh, easy little, looks like, rebel stack that's sort of just vulnerable for the taking, and I think that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Start off the video with a fight. Alright, yeah, well, we don't have the, uh, the best front line here. But, we have a nice little contingent of cavalry along with our general. Yeah, and we got that uh, mercenary cav unit. Let's go ahead and shift our force up this way. And these guys, we'll just go ahead and start peppering some, uh, some shots in on them. What do we got from the enemy? Uh... Pe a peasants unit, a peltist, an Iberian infantry, another peltist, third peltist, and one legit unit of round shields. Okay. Let's see if we can't just kind of start messing with them with our cab a little bit here. See if I can't throw some spears at their cavalry, draw them out, and then, uh, you know, draw out their cavalry and then actually hit them with my with my real cab that's coming up here. Come on, guys, get some spear throws. Yeah, there we go. The uh, general, I kind of drew him out a little bit. We'll go hit him. Oh, now he's retreating. These guys are going to get some nice hits. Let's, let's focus in on that round shield, though. Yeah, you can go after the skirmishers, no problem. Yeah, my cavalry can kind of take out a good amount of this army themselves, so we'll use them to our advantage as the infantry moves forward here. I think the rebel general kind of ran into my front line. Not the end of the world. We'll turn and go after him. Yeah, then we'll go hit the Siberian infantry here. This should route out pretty quickly. Yeah, it's basically just this general. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he, he, he ended up routing. Yeah, a bit of a disorganized fight, but we got through it. Yeah, nice this little easy wrap up of some of the routers here. Let these guys finish up and that should be it. Victory. 
All right. Okay, not bad. Let's get right up here to the border. And yeah, right at the border, we'll build. Whoops, wrong button. We'll build our last watchtower of the watchtower chain here along the road. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll go push after the Numidian town next turn. Um, all right, cool. So that worked out pretty well. Uh, we have, yeah, a lot of blue settlements. Let's just take a focus up here. Rome is almost able to recruit in um, the hoplites themselves. They're really good, uh, sacred bands. Uh, but not quite yet. So let's focus Assassin. here. We'll do the Italian region first. Looks like we, yeah, we already used the assassins this turn. Um, Ready to sail. Ready to sail. Yeah, we got our I fleets here. They we did drop off the uh, the Cretan archers. And why don't we get? Uh, no, we don't need any Libyan spearmen really, to be honest with you. Why don't we get another unit of long shields in? And then here we'll get a Poeni infantry and do some retraining. Making sure our troops here on the front line uh, are as, you know, as fresh as possible. And well replenished. Um, yeah, you can see our positioning in the back here is a bit much. We do have a little bit of a rebel force here. Our peasants and maybe a general's unit. Uh, would love to go take them out. My liege. March. March. Why don't we take our hoplite... And two spear throwers, and go hit that force. They retreated. What is what is the force? It is a town militia and a peasants Orders? unit. Orders? Will I get if I attack this with just the peltists? Will these guys be Sire. in reinforcement Sire. range? I don't think so. Sire. Sire. For nope. Let's go do it anyway. Let's try this out. A couple peltist units. I think we can do a good job. Wow, what an annoying... Are you serious? What an annoying spot for them to set up. Oh my god. Alright, my units. Let's just get up here. I'll speed this up in editing. Alright, so I was just getting my guys in position and letting them uh, rest up, but actually, these guys have a really good range, and they actually already started firing the mercenary peltists. I, I did not uh, realize their range is, is definitely further than my normal skirmishers. I had no idea. But, uh, so they started firing there when I was still in the sped up version. Sorry about that. Um, I didn't expect them to be able to start firing so soon, but it looks like, yeah, we did route away their peasant unit. Um... Yeah, we're going to use too much of our ammunition up there. Let's wait a sec here, and uh, yeah, you guys can start firing in on their these guys here. What do we got? A town militia? Come on. There are your spears. There are your spears. Alright, guess it's a uh, melee. Yeah, these guys started firing before I expected them to, and what ended, it just ended up happening was I just uh, unfortunately ended up with low low ammunition here. Well, let's pull these guys around the flanks. Yeah, and so I used up all my ammunition with like a bunch of shots of ammunition without thinking I would be firing yet or, or really realizing it. Super unfortunate. I was just trying to let my guys rest up because they were tired from. You know, climbing up the whole hill. Come on, go, go get in, get in there. Oh, what is this slow walk they're doing? Come on. There we go. All right, we got the route, and we got the general. Yeah. Okay, we'll win this. But man, that was a slog. Yeah, get a couple more spear throws in here on the peasants, and then it's just, uh, again, it's just a melee, and we'll just end the battle. All right, we got the win. Weird battle. Victory, my liege, sire. Move out. No more moves, sire. Orders. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, Italy, I think, is pretty on the all right side. I mean, again, I would love, like, some of these cities, I definitely need to start... 
getting these buildings a little bit more a little bit more built up here you know particularly like public order buildings and like secret police HQ would be a nice one but it's just a little too expensive what have we got in Capua yeah I mean like you know things like shipwright you know well worth it would significantly boost my income. Um, but I'm going to save that money for a second here. Um, I'd rather, let's see if we can get something going in Thapsis. Like, what would Shipwright and Thapsis give us? Nice boost. I just worry that, you know, about Thapsis having such a low. The Squalor is getting pretty high because we're at 21,000 population. Um, maybe, like, we would do public baths. Oh, I, I just don't like the boost to population growth that that would give. Could do the next level, the Temple of Ball. I mean, we got a few options. Um, let's take, let's do the rest of our active fighting that we have to do this turn, and then we'll uh, turn around and focus on that. So we do have another little Rebel Force here, pretty weak. My lead. Uh, probably just take that out with Cav. Mighty General, my lead. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that guy out. Alright. Another quick fight here. Yeah, like anything against Warband, you just need a big charge with cavalry and you're usually able to take them out. And then what, they got a gen the barbarian general's cav? Yeah. It's a light cavalry. Alright, we'll do a big bulk charge here. Right on the center warband unit. You guys on the right, why don't you go after those peasants? General, hang back a bit. There we go, good. Yeah, so this is just a swarm with cavalry kind of uh, tactic here, and then once they break, you just are able to wipe out pretty much the whole unit. There we go, they broke. Now he turned to the general. And yeah, there, yeah, see, it's always a little bit of a slog. And then the general will escape. Yeah, okay, actually we got him. Never mind, the general won't escape. But, uh... Yeah, it's always kind of a slog of a tactic, but it just the swarm with cavalry works so well against the low morale troops. All right, all right. So a bunch of random little battles there to start it off, but uh, thanks for sticking with that. I think that's pretty. I mean, it's kind of fun. We got veteran warrior for Theatocles the Wrathful. Commander and commanding infantry and personal security, which is always good. Um, good, and then now we have this force. So we did have a uh, general from Britain come down and kind of surprise us here a little bit. Uh, we have some forces in the area, like definitely you know some adequate forces. This one has we just don't have a lot of infantry. Um, Let's just grab. Let's just go grab this infantry and go hit them. And yeah, I guess we'll leave that on AI as AI controlled, because otherwise we won't be able to utilize all the units. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So I think our reinforcements are coming from the east here, the right side. Yep, they are. Let's go meet up with them. And so we'll try our best here to work with the uh, with our AI units. We have a huge block of cav plus a general, and we'll we'll just kind of keep my infantry over here with this with this force. All right, what are we looking at over here? Yeah, they got they got some chariots. Definitely one of them at least is a general. Uh, otherwise, their 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 line here is pretty weak on on their right flank because cavalry can just wipe these guys out, as you all have seen in this campaign. Uh, they got yeah, they got some a little bit of extra cavalry guarding the light, and these light chariots just melt 
It's this general's chariot here that's more of a threat. Alright, looks like the AI is being a bit aggressive with the uh, cav. That's fine. I mean, yeah, I don't see a reason why we can't really just charge in here. I mean, we'll definitely get the, uh, we'll definitely get the route on them. I mean, a swordsman unit is no match for a, a smack from a bunch of cavalry here. There we go, they routed, and yeah, you can see the AI cavalry is kind of like shadowing me, but... It doesn't know whether to, like, engage or not. It's kind of funny. We'll turn and hit this warband now. Yeah, we're just kind of trying to pick them off one unit at a time here down the line. Well, we can. You can see they route pretty much right away, and then it's just, like, easy picking. It's just free kills, just like that rebel battle we just had. Let's pull the infantry forward. Cavalry withdraw. They got a nice hit on a couple guys there. I want to charge in on their general and just wipe him out, but I don't want to risk a cavalry fight if the AI doesn't commit. I need the AI to engage before I before I go for that. Well, we charged in. We got another route. AI didn't commit. Let's just go for him. Yeah, AI ain't helping me much here. Yeah, we're losing guys very quick. Why don't we pull back to our AI counterparts? Yeah, see if they if all that cavalry had joined in the fray, we would have probably taken that. And I'm just I'm just engaging my front line here, hoping that that triggers the my AI Carthage to to do the same. Alright, there we go. There, their cavalry is being a general bodyguard. Oh, don't lose the general. Careful there. Alright, we're gonna go help out my uh, infantry that's locked in here and fighting. Because the, uh, the AI here has been very, very slow to react. Again, trying to get their general. There, okay, we looks like, yeah, we got kind of, we got a mass route. Alright. There we go, and we got the general. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, you sir, we'll just start, uh, start hitting the different units now. Boy, these fights are... Yeah, these fights are tough with the uh, AI armies, because it's, it's really hard to, to read them. Yeah, we're going to send our general after that large unit of uh, 74 back there. Ah, it looks like we might just not reach him in time. That's too bad. Alright, well, everything else we're pretty much cleaning up. Yeah, we won't let this one... We'll just put it on play for a second here so we can actually pick the flag. There's one guy over here. It looks like the AI is going after it. Uh, setting up a line for some reason. Just take him out. Come on. That I had to do it myself. Alright, yeah, so good... Uh, definitely a very good win. We, we gained a lot of experience, especially with our cavalry, and wiped out a pretty good amount of their force. All right, so we knocked that force back, and, and if you're wondering why I'm just started off the first 20 minutes of this episode with battle after battle after battle, it's basically all the battles that uh, I saw were potential ones at the end of the last video, but didn't have the time to do, and so I just wanted to wanted to get them done. We got a little six four six unit force up here. This general, yeah, we'll put a, we want probably a watchtower right about there. Do I get a sight on that force? Not really. It's a captain, so... And we'll probably want another... Watchtower up here. Now, you can come towards the city. 
I say we will take this Narbo Martius. Yeah, we got some troops. We definitely want to retrain them here. But why don't we take this force? We can go with Bulmakar. We can go address this guy. And I think the force I have with all the cavalry will be sufficient, but... We'll just give them two units of infantry to help out, and yeah, then we'll make our way that direction. Here in the city, let's definitely retrain everyone we can. And then here with this force, yeah, this is the force we can go ahead and start in on Massilia. Nice 27-year-old general. And what do we have? We have Peltists, we got some infantry, we got some cav. Good mix. Yeah, why don't we take... Well, we're just going to try to make some uh, fresh units here. And they can go join that force. We actually need five, not just four. Uh, why don't we do one more... I can't combine any of these guys without losing the unit, so we'll go ahead and we'll do one more cavalry unit. And you guys can make your way back to Narvo Martius and meet up in the city. Okay, so that's a pretty good spot. Man, that, it's just, uh, just a lot of little fights that had to get done uh, very quickly there. And now we can get into some a little bit more management. So, yeah, okay, here we have our navy retreating this direction. It looks like we've pretty much done most of our moves this turn. My eyes are yours. I mean, the spy, I kind of like your positioning right here by the bridge. It's a good spot to be. Diplomat's ready for to do peace. This diplomat, just kind of, let's do a little bit of scouting with you. Spy's already in Massilia. Spy's in Siwa. The assassins have already been used. Okay. Settlements, nothing's red. Aretium is actually completely green. Maybe we can, yeah, we can bump up that tax rate a quick. Nice. Make a little bit more money in Aretium. And Rome is also completely green. On normal, so yeah, we can bump that up. Make a little bit more money as well in Rome. Alright. And then, yeah, I think all of our forces we pretty much used. Uh, I mean, yeah, we got some large forces here in Italy. I guess we could... Beginning so let's wait one more turn here in Italy, get some retraining done and everything, and then you know then we'll then we'll focus on uh, on on you know in, you know starting and, and assaults here. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the way to do it. You guys are fine where you are. Yeah, we'll do definitely. Let's bring in one ship here in Carthage, just as a ferry force, and then we have a little bit of money to spend. Is it enough for any of these cities up here to get something going? That's something that's kind of worth more worthwhile. Hmm. Could do, like, stuff like market. I just don't like the population growth bonus that, like, a market provides, you know? Um, but the added income would be nice. We'll just, why don't we just get a market going there in Masana? And our first end turn of the episode. A suitable husband? Honestly, no. Pretty bad trait. 43 year old. We're gonna decline that. Uh, diplomatic information. Alright, some Thrace stuff. Good recruitment. Construction. Dago Nova. Large Temple of Ball. Cool. And Aretium got the execution square. Oh. My diplomat in Illyrium died. Natural causes. Okay. It's fine. City expands. Also Carthago Nova. Cool. Yeah, why don't we just kind of get in the habit of doing the, the next level building right when... Oh no, Lilibium has the plague. That's a bummer. Uh, I mean, I don't... <laughs> we'll lose some population. It's not the, not the complete end of the world for the short term. Um, looks like there's actually a counselor's chambers there as well. So we'll, we'll try to stick with our trend and, and get that building. Um, Alright, so this army here crossed in this direction. They didn't go this way as I thought they might. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, no army there. Another army is making its way down. It's going to have to come this way. So yeah, why don't we... We'll definitely want to go focus on this one first. Let's go. The bloody day has come. 
This will be the last for many. Come what. All right. Well, we got snow for every single time I hit wait. Uh, and yeah, this is just gonna be a huge cab fight, basically. Let's get my cavalry into a nice wide front. Or, oh, sorry, nice narrow front, as I so love to do. And we'll go to speed three. Yeah, because it just has such an impact power. I mean, we could basically charge, with the amount of cavalry we have, we could actually pretty much charge this whole line itself. Yeah, we. I mean, we could literally just send a couple units to each, each unit in the front here. So we'll go like those three, those four, which include the two generals, like those three, be a little closer to support the generals, and then you guys hit the side. And yeah, let's just uh, get one great big, broad cavalry charge coming in here. They do have a war dogs. That's gotta be something. That's something I gotta look out for. Alright, let's see if this works. Didn't get a route yet. Very interesting, really. Alright, the generals did get a route. Alright, we did get a route. Now I just gotta finish. Yeah, there we go. There's another route. Alright. And that's why I like keeping them all in one big bulk. You, you kind of mitigate the risk of not getting a route, you know? Like, it's the, you, you don't want your cavalry to get into a get into a melee fight with, uh, you know, with a bunch of, uh, speared units, so. That's the, that's the danger. When you come in with a huge bulk, usually you're able to punch through a little bit better. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, we didn't get the charge bonus on those guys, and then you can just, like, sweep your way down the line, and it usually works pretty well. All right, we did get end up actually getting the route on them. Yeah, we'll take out some of the routers here for a sec. Looks like, okay, they're sending the dogs after my infantry. Maybe not. I don't know. It's a little tough to tell. Let's see if I can't catch any of those guys before they get out of here. Infantry, I really, yeah, I really want my infantry on the war dogs here. General, let's get out way out of here. Yeah, generals, you guys can go chase down that warband unit. There we go. Alright, we did engage their dogs. So that's good. Infantry should be able to take care of them. Well, you'd think. Yeah, when we kill the handlers, a bunch of the dogs will die here, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Yeah, when you take out the handlers, the dogs don't last. Yeah, you can see that. I think the dogs yeah, they disperse there. Generals, come on. Let's not, let's not dilly-dally here. Let's take these guys out. There we go. Good stuff. Completely taken out these units. Alright, and we got a retinue expands. That, that's huge! Valander, Valor is big because that's, I think, the... Oh, no, that's that's the... Sorry. <laughs> I thought that was, like, the hit points of the General's Bodyguard, but no, it's, it's actually just the uh, it's the Chevrons. Uh, sorry if you hear a little bit of construction noise in the background. That's my... Uh, that's my morning routine here at the apartment. I just get constant, constant uh, um, constructions right outside my window, basically. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, we got some pretty weakened forces here. Another, jeez, Britain is just sending full stack after full stack. Like, every single turn, it's crazy. Um, these guys, yeah, let's go lay siege to Massilia. Oh, good, we have the gates open. Yeah, if we have the gates open, let's just go take it. Boy, we got a, a episode of fights right here. Okay. Open gate. 
we probably are going to want to use our skirmishers to soften up whatever's guarding the gatehouse, which is slingers. Ooh, slingers, yeah. Slingers will get some good shots in. Those, that's a good unit, as you guys have pointed out to me. Yeah, we're going to use my men here to, to go soften them up a little bit. You know, honestly, we could just charge him with the cavalry. But this is a little more fun. Yeah, I was going to say, we could just move him with the cav, but this this is a little bit more of an enjoyable way to take it out. Even if it does result in a bit more losses. Yeah, we'll get some, some nice spear throws here right through the gatehouse. Should do good damage to them. There we go. Cav, let's get in here. What's this unit? Swordsman? Yeah, cavalry. Get in the city. You guys, let's scoot to the side if you can. I might have waited a little while to do that. Get out of the way, the cavalry. Alright. Yeah, this uh we should just be able to kinda of run through this. What's their what's their unit in the center here? Swordsman, yeah, okay. This is a complete complete cavalry fight. Right, there we go. Come on, guys. Go charge the slingers. Yeah, I don't think any of the units that are in the city will be able to Yeah, they routed right away. None of the units that are in the city will be able to put uh put up a fight against a uh, a bunch load of, you know, a boatload of cavalry like this. Yeah, I would love to hit them before. These cities, these round cities, always have some sort of pathfinding issues, but let's see if I can't get the slingers. Yeah, they're mostly down. Alright. Let's take the back half of the cav. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want to do shift click. Back half of the cav there. General, we're going to come around the other side here. Oh, shoot. Alright, we engaged. Everyone in the middle. I, I, was, I was trying to get a little bit of a flanking move on him, but it didn't quite work out. But it's a swordsman will be, uh, will be no match for a load of cavalry. Oh god, enemy general. Okay, thank god. I had a... My, like, heart dropped for a second there. Yeah, we're gonna have to wipe them all out, but... Cavalry are gonna be, uh... Yeah, again, these swordsmen just don't, uh, don't put up a good fight. There we go. Alright. General's bodyguard gained the chevron as well. That's perfect. And Massilia is ours. So... I basically have connected the area that I want. Like, now if I take these Julia settlements, I get a nice connection here. Uh, if I could get a bit of peace with the Britons, I would really love that. No, I, I mean, this is just... Uh, they are a pain. I mean, am I going to really have to push all the way up through France to take them out here? Yeah, maybe I will. Uh, before we do retraining, we can just do a little combo like that. Now we can now we can leave a recruitment spot open for some men. Uh, yeah, I guess we can just bring in another kind of crappy uh, Iberian infantry. And uh, why don't we invest in this town immediately with some roads that'll help the transit through this area. And... Yeah, we, we did a pretty good job here. These Slish Slingers units pretty weak. We can disband them. We did a pretty good job here of retraining troops. So, what do we have here? A 30-year-old High Command General? Yeah, against this guy. That's going to be a good fight. Let's, let's think about how we want to set this up. So, first and foremost, you... you know, why, don't, why don't we move you out of the city? We'll start gathering a force with you. So, all this retrains cavalry. It's a good amount of cav. Um, and then basically, yeah, why don't you then take all this retrained infantry. infantry. Basically, you're going to take everyone from Narva Martius here. Yeah, both of these. And just go ahead and take all those guys. And then Narva Martius we can move into, and we can immediately get some retraining as well. Well, we would if the population wasn't all the way down. Um, 
I think we could bump the population growth a little bit with a sewers. Yeah, we can. So we'll go ahead and do a sewers. And uh, yeah, you guys be in range blocking the town from the potential move of this guy. And uh, this unit here, five units. Mighty General. Orders. You know, could be the perfect round out to that force. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna we'll go ahead and do that with it. And then maybe we want to just start advancing up here against Britain. That, that might be what we end up having to do if, if they're just refusing to. Uh, seems like Britain is just absolutely refusing to concede. Uh, so we'll keep up on them. All right. So this this fleet becomes a free fleet because we don't need to blockade Massilia anymore. So we'll immediately. I want to move some fleets up here. I want to blockade all the rest of their ports. Basically, I want to knock out, knock them out as a naval force, uh, essentially here. So they got a huge fleet there. Jeez. Go hit the small one. Should be a sink. Yeah. There we go. Victory. Ready to sail. And we'll move after that fleet. This fleet, yeah, this is kind of a little bit weakened. Let's continue moving in this direction. Good, yeah, I always forget these guys are just kind of in a spot that's a really big pain to get to. Not much I can do about that right now. Um, Alright. <clears throat> rest of our fleets here. Yeah, we could start getting a bit aggressive with the Julii here. Maybe we... Oh, come on. I hate when they do this with the different Ready admirals. Yeah. Ready to sail. Let's do this. Set sail. Yeah, I, I, I can't even merge these Set guys. Sail. No. Okay. Yes, mighty lord. Ships ready. Make ready for combat. Yeah, we're just going to kind of try to Victory. push on the Julii Ready here. Ready to sail. Yes, mighty lord. I, my lord. Ready Can we get to those sail. guys too? Prepare to engage. And yeah, they routed out. Alright, well, we got a couple wins, though. So even though they routed out, that's alright. And here in Masana, we'll just retrain this. Keep is, is, is a little bit of a fairy fleet. You guys can go on it. You guys can move back into the city. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then we have... Ships ready! This fleet here, why don't you just go ahead and blockade Apollonia? And these fleets up here, yeah, blockade Tavium. And Suggesta doesn't, uh, not Suggesta, sorry, what town is this? Salona doesn't have uh, a navy yet, so maybe we move this fleet. Um, hmm, this fleet might want to maybe get make back to Kaidonia. We can pick up some more Credence when we eventually get them. Oh right, wait, he can't be in the in the city. I always forget that the city absolutely hates him. Okay, we'll get one unit of peasants here, just for public order purposes. And okay, so that pretty much moves all the fleets. Let's see if I'm missing anyone. That's a captain. Oops. Yep, you're retraining. Ships ready. That I one's good. Lord. That one's good. I you're good. Ships ready. Carthage needs ferry fleets. My liege. Sire. My Take out some of those high-level troops. And... Train in one more round shield. All right, you guys. Yeah, let's ferry these troops. Let's go the safe way this way. We'll ferry them up to the front lines, and or we could actually maybe go target Corallus. I might think about actually bringing this back and 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 training up a force here that could go take Corallus. That might be the way to go, actually. Yeah, pretty low on finances again. Just a lot of fighting, you know, constant fighting back and forth. Alright, we do have a couple moves here with our uh, assassins. We have a 13% chance at that guy, 4% chance at the faction leader. Not really worth those chances, if you ask me. Why don't we give this captain a shot here, 95%. Just see if we can't get any retinue expansion, or at least move towards it. Yeah, alright. 
There we go. See, that guy we gain a little bit of skill with. That was the plan. So retinue expands. Yeah, we got agent skill. Bonus. All right. Or bonus. All right. And then why don't we Batavium as the larger force? So why don't we move you into Batavium? <clears throat> it's not that huge a force over here at um, Suggesta. So maybe we could actually start moving now against that force. Uh, we'll use Hyempsal the Honest. You can be the organizer of our army here between the two cities. Now we'll drop that tax. Um, all right, and how do we want to? How do we want to do this? So first and foremost, these units again. We're gonna need to wait for retraining. But yeah, you can go ahead and take some good Poanis. Do I have any Poanis here? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, some Libyan spearmen. That's a good amount of infantry you got there. Uh, let's take some nice high-level cav. Yeah, nice high-level cavalry. Why don't you take one elephant's unit? Now we got four left for one... Two, three units of Cretan archers, and we'll give you an onagers as you advance. There we go. And then, yeah, you could start the advance this direction. Oh, there is a Juiai assassin down here. We'll go target that guy next turn. I just noticed him. Yeah, in the city. Bring in another long shield. Yeah, we're going to definitely start, you know, having financial troubles again, but that's okay. Yeah, we need to we need to keep expanding north here. And here's Theages, my all timer general in Rome. And I have no other generals in the region, actually. Kind of surprised by that. Thought I would, but uh, no, I guess uh, I guess I don't. Okay, so yeah, I think we've pretty much moved troops here in this region as as I would like. Um. Yeah, that city's not vulnerable this turn. We've moved troops around this here as I'd like. We've got three turns left on the Temple of Baal. Uh, over here, we made good progress and our troops are, you know, are pretty in position. I mean, um, I guess there's no reason I can't really move a lot of this army into the city. I just It's just a perfectly trained up arm and positioned army. I just don't want to move it into the city unnecessarily. Yeah, we'll just leave it where it is. It's in reinforcement range. Um, yeah, a lot of... Uh, not too many moving parts. This army down here, I don't want to forget. Continue our march this way. Alright. And, uh, yeah, I think that we can go ahead and move to the next turn. Oh, big fleet attacked me. Ah, shoot. They got the win on me. Britannia is, as always, moving with more armies. 16-year-old with a 100% increase the cost of bribe. Sure, we'll take you. We can mold you into a good general. And, um, where's marriage celebrations? Where is he? Thank you, Eretium. Oh my gosh, I got another general in this region. That is literally perfect. I, I was, like, just saying how I only had the one general in this region. So, or the, you know, two generals, really, in this region. So that's that's really nice. Diplomatic info. Greek cities in Thrace are at war. Germania and Thrace have broken their alliance. Bunch of recruitment. Construction. We got paved roads in Syracuse. Oh, we also got a two coming of age. One in Gaidonia. <laughs> oh my gosh! And the other in Carthage. All right, that makes sense. Um, so why don't we? This dude who's been in Carthage for a while, um, twenty-eight year old. You, when this fleet comes I back, my lord. I, my lord. you can Go lead on, our invasion sire. force. Mighty general. And let's recruit in, yeah, just an infantry for that force. All right, so then we'll keep the 18-year-old, 16-year-old here in Carthage for the time being. As for over here in Kaidonia, I mean, this is really kind of funny. It's not, not really needed. Um, not really needed in the slightest. Over in this region, just, just kind of, kind of hilarious. Um, all right, let's start right here. Let's take a quick look. What are we dealing with? Okay, we do have a decent force in the city, and I have a bit of a damaged army uh, over here myself. Maybe let's uh, 
bring in two more Peltist units and go lay siege. And yeah, we'll get we'll go ahead and get three uh, battering rams going. Egypt's the most advanced faction. Yeah, Lilibium still has the plague. End of turn report. Made a little bit of money. Ah, okay. They, I don't think it showed me that. Settlement's besieged. Um, not not a threat. Not a threat. I honestly could get aggressive and just go attack them. I'll, I'll debate how I want to uh, do that. Just give me one sec there. Because first, let's go deal with this. Suggesta under siege. Why? Oh, I can go ahead and do it now because I have onagers. They actually have onagers as well. Um, because I have onagers and elephants, I can probably attack the wall. I feel like I'd prefer to have some rams involved here. Why don't we wait one turn? Then we'll get we'll get some rams in there. And I don't know where their assassin went. I really don't like that this guy keeps disappearing. But we can go take out that Julii assassin. That's an easy kill for this guy. And yeah, he gained another agent skill as well. He's now a superior assassin. Very, very good. And then we have an in-the-field uh, Roman Julii family member. 65% up here. So let's take a shot. Nope, we missed the target. Okay, but at least my assassin didn't die. Um, that's alright. And yeah, we're going to definitely start recruiting... You know, recruiting up again a force here. For the eventual push on to Patavium and whatnot. I mean, most of this army will probably be able to move on. Suggesta only has... Yeah, 9,000 population. I might... Uh, I might honestly just destroy it. Uh, exterminate it after I, I take the settlement. We will... We'll see. I really wish I could combine these guys. Super annoying that I can't, but that should be a sync. There we go. And what we got here? Two two ships. Let's see if I get the lucky sync. Yeah, I did get the sync. Alright, so that's two navies we took out this turn. Nice turn with that little dual threat of navies there. Alright, this fleet is set and ready to go. Sail back up to the front. And you guys let's keep sailing back this way. Yeah, here, yeah, we're gonna need that extra unit. And then this is the really powerful navy of theirs. Uh, we can combine these navies into one bulk force and go hit it. Yeah, we'll just start, we'll just have to start damaging that force. Uh, these ships, why don't you guys... Oh, God, Corduba could do a lot of retraining here. Yeah, we'll do some retraining in Corduba. What would a shipwright give trade-wise? There's not a lot of trade over here, right? I mean, it would be an increase of about 300. There actually is a lot of trade. Um, increase of about 300. We could up the mines. Just for a little bit of base income boost. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And this, yeah, that force can start guarding over there. Okay, here's that fleet. Yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a lot weaker now. Not not the threat it was a turn ago. Uh, so not, not super worried about it. Alright. So let's think about how we want to deal with this. So this force is pretty weak. It's gotta, it's gotta be retrained. This force is full and strong. Um, you know, we could move after Lungdunum. We could move this force. Is that by thirty-one? Yeah. Why don't we get aggressive? Why don't we move this force this direction? Whoa! Oh, little hidden reinforcement force. Okay. Yeah, little hidden reinforcement force. Surprise me. Alright. The enemy have brought up more men. Okay, so This is not a force that can put up a fight against the bulk of Cav. Absolutely not. So what I think we're gonna go ahead and do here is let's just I mean let's just charge in. Take this force out with the cavalry before the reinforcements can come in and get involved. Yeah, let's pull these guys across the line. 
And then we're going to go ahead and just charge in on these Chosen Swordsmen, Heavy Infantry. Swordsmen, again, they're they're good infantry, but they're not going to be able to withstand the, uh, the Cavalry Barrage here. Yeah, and then we're going to do our normal strategy here of sweeping down the line. Need to get some routes. There we go, got some routes. Yeah. Complete, completely routed. Why don't you guys halt? You weren't really firing at the unit I wanted you to. We'll go after those slingers. And we'll leave uh, a couple units over here to chase down the routes. There we go. These guys can chase down all the routers here. Yeah, that's uh, just complete domination. All right, what do we got with the uh, with the other little force that's coming in to reinforce? Looks like there are some. Um, oh, all right, we'll get out of this animation. There we go. Some chariots, probably general. Maybe that's light. Maybe that's the general. Yeah. And then a unit of swords. All right. Yeah, those guys finished them off. Come on, General. Okay, General didn't really... All right, that's fine. All right, Cavalry, let's all group up over here. Infantry, if you can get up this way, that'd be great. Along with the Peltists here. And you guys, I definitely want to use... Ah! Interesting. I guess they withdrew. That's fine. Alright, they withdrew. We'll just take out the rest of the routers here, and that should be that. Alright, interesting. Uh, wouldn't have expected that. I guess, yeah, so the other force withdrew. And then, yeah, we can go ahead and uh, set up shop on this bridge here. Good spot to set up shop, if you ask me. And then now this, now this, see this bridge, if you remember from like a couple episodes ago when I was talking about it, is the only pathway that's a threat to this, this area and Spain. Because this entire region up here, you have two options. You either cross this bridge or you come down this route. We're going to have to pass the city and I'll see you way ahead of time. I mean, you could cut in through this direction, but I think if you cut in through this direction, you need to cross there and cross there as well. Alright, so this guy is going to be positioned here. That's a good space to be. Yeah, this force... We need to... Get them retrained. So let's take the men out of the city that we can. Make some space. Yeah, this... Uh, the constant retraining and everything here in the city is taking a huge toll on the population. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll drop this one to low tax rate just for the little bit of the half point of population boost. Uh, I think I'm going to actually, I think I'm just going to sit this one out with the siege, at least for one turn. I want to see if they assault me. It's been a while since I've, like, defended uh, in a siege. This city's under siege. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, we're in a pretty good spot here. Let's take a look at, you know, what kind of buildings we can build. Maybe some economic, maybe here in Ariminum. In execution square, get some public order going or, or something, it, it would be pretty smart. A public order by 10%. And uh, yeah, if I went to dockyard here, trade would take a nice jump. Just kind of a very, it's very exp Actually, dockyard's only 2,000 here. We'll do the dockyard, sure. And then, um. Ready to sail. I, great lord. Yeah, building there, Croton. Give Rhodes and Croton, why not? Give a little bit of a boost to trade. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we're getting some actual... Some actual economic builds going here. It's, you know, not all just, uh... Yeah, not all just straight, um... Mighty General. Military. So that's pretty nice. And, okay. So I think that's pretty much all for this turn. Where is this? Ooh, they were able to pick that one off on its own. Yeah. Okay. It's a little annoying. 
21 year old woo superior attacker or commander good attacker and management in law yeah absolutely all right um Ships ready. go hit that annoying Julii fleet we are supreme I great Lord I my lord no more moves sire I make sure we keep those together I, all right lord. where is the marriage celebration Rome oh, good place to you know, good place for that uh, we'll retrain you immediately so you get the improved weapons and armor, and then we can, uh, why don't we bring in, like, a Poeni there as well, and then we can move. Um, recruitment reports, construction reports, yeah, market, governor's palace, and Kaidonia. I just love that Kaidonia is, like, actually becoming kind of a big city. It's, it's really funny. Um, alright, we got faction announcements, new family member, and some retinue expands, okay? Most advanced faction. Asa grows. Lilibium still has death stalks to land, and we lost some money that last turn, but that's okay because we have three cities, or we have two cities under siege, and probably a third one soon. Um, so not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and just while I'm thinking about it. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, I don't have anyone nearby to get to it. Um, okay, well, I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end today's episode. I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you made it through this far and you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like on the video, uh, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and um, and yeah, we'll pick this up next time with two offensive sieges and one defensive siege, so I look forward to uh, seeing everybody there. Have a good one.